Hello to all my friends in the internet world. This is your friend Jay Silva, also known as Background J. And guys, I want to say thanks to everyone who joined the program in the last special that we did. All right, it's uh, it's been so great. We, we you know we've been having so much fun with the people, and uh, you know we have two teams of two who, who you know who happen to be training together, and it, it's been a barrel of monkeys when it comes to fun. Um, amazing results guys have been so committed we have one person in particular you know Bell thank you for being uh, there and then you know you're as crazy uh, uh, about the game as I am all right you you know you you really motivate me um, so guys thank you so much I have to give an announcement I have two MIA people you know two students who actually made their payments and uh, they disappear for some reason all right so guys, please, uh, you know, when you when you watch this video, get in touch with me. I hope everything is okay. Get in touch with me so we can start your training. I'm, I'm I want to see if I can actually pair you two guys and and train you as a team of two. Not not necessarily for you guys to play together, okay? But just uh, you know, just to keep things rolling uh, smoothly. So that is that. That is um the news and the and the thanks that I have to give to everyone who joined our program and our, and uh, you know who took advantage of our. Special that we ran before. Now, guys, the three keys to beat background, okay? Combinations that I have worked on based on the mechanics that we already have, okay? Remember, we have Wrath of the Destroyer, we have the Wrecking Ball, we have the M1, which is amazing, the Fire Extinguisher, the Tommy Gun, okay? But how do we mix them? How do we make them, you know, uh, the more practical and how do we make them the easiest to beat the game? It's so simple. Remember, we have something that we like to call Bed Net Zero. It's basically, you know, we try to go <clears throat> for a combination that will make us profit in, in two bets. Two bets, that's all. That's all that we want. We don't want to play long-ass games. We just want to play two bets. If we make profit, beautiful. If we don't make profit, hey, let me bring it down to a zero. I don't want to be deep into a negative uh, state of uh, money count, all right? I just want my zero. So after bet net zero, you know, if I didn't make a plus three, if I didn't make a plus, if I didn't make a plus nine or plus seven, then I want, I want my zero so I can close this micro game and try it all over again, all right? So, check this out. When it comes to the three keys to beat background, guys, okay, I will give you these three combinations and I will give you the opportunity to make a choice based on predominance or flip. Remember, predominance, if you are new to the concept of predominance, the stronger side. Which side is the strongest, banker or player? So, you can actually make a choice. Is it a predominant shoe or is it a flip shoe? What is a flip issue? When predominance is not as heavy, I'm about to, to, to show you. I'm about to run an exercise in which I'm going to play in Backer or Wimpro. I'm going to play 10 bets using one of the three keys. You will actually see one of the three keys, all right? And, uh, and, and basically, the choice is simple. But the most important thing, guys, is, you know, we have three options to choose, which, you know, combinations. Remember, each combination or each key is constructed with two bets. Left leg and right leg bet, right? Sometimes my bets, they go together. Sometimes my bet, they counter each other. Sometimes I cannot even place a bet because it's a neutral or a no bet, right? So the system decides how much or where to put the bet, okay? And we always want to go and make the stronger side bet on the winning side only, which is the most amazing. It's, it's so practical. It's so simple that we don't know why we haven't played like this for decades before, all right? But everything has to happen, you know, within within its own time. Now, pay attention. Why? Because when you choose between the three keys, remember, only you have two factors, predominance or flip, to make a choice. But if you choose wrong, not necessarily will mean that you will lose. It will mean that, you know, it could be, your choice could be good, could be better, or could be the best choice possible. And that will open the, the door to amazing results in that shoe and that's true i'm not talking about the game uh you know as, as as a whole all right you can choose to have a killer uh shoe result uh with like 30 40 50 you know we have had some experiences in, in which uh you know students have made over 100 units on a single shoe which is crazy so is the only way that you that you can play the game of background and always keep an edge that is considerable in your favor that is, they will always keep you and you know advantageous to you. All right. So guys, uh, once again, I'm gonna make a deal, okay, for the first five people, the first five people that join the program, okay. I'm gonna 
<clears throat> I'm gonna give you the same price as we did with the the previous um the previous special. So if you want to know more, get in touch with me, okay? And I will I will give you all the information and I will help you start training on the three keys on bed net zero. Alright guys, remember once again, so I don't I don't have any <laughs> any arguments uh with especially with previous students because they go oh yeah but you said this and that no 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 the waiving of the fee to join the team because now guys it's gonna be super crazy is is out of the question all right now if you want to join the bed net zero program to learn the three keys of background which is all you need remember it's, it's uh seven sessions all right i'm gonna give you a two thousand dollar break all right and you guys will be super happy so, uh, I, I think that I cover everything. Yeah, let me see my list. Yep. Uh, guys, I'm going to open my uh, Backer of WinPro so we can play 10 bets. So, please don't go nowhere. Okay, stay put because you're going to love it. All right? Be right back. Okay, here we go, guys. Please pay close attention. All right. Once again, I'm going to play 10 bets uh, in, in one of the three keys. That we I'm going to use a combination of Tommy and... Uh, Fire extinguisher, powerful combination, guys. Uh, only has one mortal enemy, and uh, you know we can always protect uh, our game on a second position if we're playing Ghostbusters. But right now we're focusing on bed net zero single player, right? So before I do anything, I need to get a scope. I have a banker nine. I have a banker nine twice. Oof, banker nine three times. That's weird. I have a player seven and a player four. So Okay, I have a black chip. Here we go. I got three bankers. Hold on one second. One, two, and three, and two players. Remember, I'm doing Tommy Gun and I'm doing Fire Extinguisher. So in my Tommy, I gotta go base on banker. And in my Fire Extinguisher, I gotta go base on player. So this is my first neutral bet or no bet. I still need my result, guys. Banker seven. Beautiful. Okay. Banker 7, Tommy would have won, Fire Extinguisher would have lost, but it doesn't matter because I didn't put any money on that. Now, I got to go 5 units on the Banker, and I got to go 2 units on the player, so I'm doing 3 on Banker. Here we go, guys. 3 units on the Banker. Nice, Banker 7. Uh, over here I won, over here I've lost. I am plus 3. 3 units in 2 bets. Beautiful. Now... I got to go uh, base on player and Tommy. Got to go base on player. On fire extinguisher, two on player. Here we go, guys. Oof, player six. I win, win. I am plus two here. I cannot close this micro game, guys, even though I am plus two. Remember, I am plus three from previous uh, micro game. A minus commission and plus two is five units okay uh, but those two units are singular from the previous micro game the previous micro game is already closed I already put those earnings into the bolt if you want to call it that and now hold on I gotta go ladder five on the player I gotta go ladder five on the banker so it's a neutral bet no bet okay I still need the result banker Ford okay so Tommy would have lost um, uh, Fire Extinguisher uh, actually won. Now I can close my two unit game because it's a two bet minimum. Alright, so now I am plus five minus commission. You guys can see it here. Get it? 485 minus 15 commission only on two bets. Alright, guys. Amazing. That's a power bet and zero with the three keys. So here we go, guys. Um. I gotta go brand new game. Hold on one second. I gotta go base on the banker for Tommy. I gotta go base on player for uh, fire extinguisher neutral bed. My second neutral bed of this uh, exercise. All right. I still need a result. Here we go. Banker nine. Okay. Tommy won. Fire extinguisher lost. No money gets changed because I didn't bet on that. Now I gotta go five units on the player and two units on the player. I gotta go seven on player guys. Here we go. And seven. Here we go guys. Ooh, player eight. Here we go. Uh, winner, winner. I am plus seven here. 
All right, guys. So I am plus 3, plus 5, and 7 plus 12. I am plus 12 units. Let me get my pencil here. I am plus 12 units up, guys. Minus commissions in three bets. All right, three bets. This is um, actually my bet number six. I had three neutral bets before. It. Okay, so I don't, I, I don't even need to risk uh, money on every single bet, or if you want to call it risk, or, or utilize, okay, my, my bankroll. All right, I have four bets remaining, guys, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use them, all right? Whatever happens until bet number 10 is what happens. So I'm doing Tommy Gun and Fire Extinguisher, guys. I got to go base on the player on Tommy. I got to go base on the player on, on Fire Extinguisher, so it's two on player. Here we go. Nice. Player 7. I'm telling you guys. Player 7. Winner, winner. And plus 2. Same example, guys. Plus 2. I was plus 12 before. Now I am plus 14 minus commission. See it here. Right? I cannot close this micro game because at least I need I need 2 bets on a single micro game in order for me to close it. I got to go. Oof. I got to go 10 units on the banker. Ladder 5, ladder 5. Here we go, guys. Let me get my uh, purple chip. 10 on Banker. Here we go. Ooh, Banker 7. I love it. Okay, here we go. Let me change my my uh, chip before I make a mistake. Uh, all right. Banker what? Banker 7. Uh, winner, winner. I can close it now. So I am plus 12 now. Hold on one second. I was plus 14 before, guys. So now I am plus 24 minus commission. Hold on one second. I have played so far eight bets in which I actually made. Hold on, let me get my pencil here. I actually made five bets out of the eight. Okay, I'm gonna make a, a a recap after I finish my two. I have two remaining bets. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm about to do and whatever happens on bet number ten, it happens. But I am plus twenty four units up in five bets, guys. All winners. All right, here we go. Uh, all right. I'm doing, let me close it here. I'm doing uh, Tommy Gun Fire Extinguisher. And I got to go base on the banker on Tommy. Base on player on Fire Extinguisher. No bet. My No bet number four, if I'm not mistaken, guys. So I still need the result. Uh, banker nine. Hold on. So Tommy won. Fire Extinguisher lost. Nothing happens because I didn't get to put any money on that. So now I got to go. Five units on the player and two units on the player. I gotta go seven on player, guys. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a seven. Here we go, guys. Banker A. No big deal. Okay. Uh, lost, loss. I am minus eight here. All right. So let me recap real quick. Three, five, uh, twelve. 12 and uh, 14 plus 26 minus 8 is plus 18. All right, guys, here we go. Let me get my pencil here. The purpose of our exercise is to play 10 bets, right? Oh, we had a dragon to the Tommy here. I forgot to mention that. We had kind of like an island here. And you can consider this a whole thing an island to my, to my students, you know, like, you know, the 33s, 43s, 53s, island. All right, so here we go, guys. Uh, we have 15 hands. Thank God, no ties. All right, now we have a uh, definite pre predominance on the banker side. So hey, even though we're playing the flip kind of deal, predominance didn't hurt us. Pay attention, guys, especially my students. All right, you see, we were playing a flippy key, but we did fantastic. All right, I mean, you can see it. Out of 15 bets. 10 bankers, 5 players. That's huge. All right? Now, uh, we use the 5, remember, for the scope. So we have the 10 bets. Now, out of the 10 bets, I actually got to play 6. 6 bets. Okay? I have 5 winners, 1 losers. Out of this situation, and remember, guys, I just need to make sure that you guys understand this. On the last two bets that I made, to you know, my bet number 9 and my bet number 10, my bet number 9 was a neutral bet, no bet. My, my bet number 10 <coughs> was a 7-unit uh, bet on the on the player and banker hit, banker, nine, banker 8, you can see it here, right? So we lost that one. I am minus 8 in that micro game. That doesn't mean 
that my my system lost a units no if i continue if i continue playing that micro game i will grind it down to a zero or maybe to positive to a plus one plus two all right now i still made guys uh 17 units here if you see it right 17 units minus commissions in six bets five winners one loser now if you take the ratio of winning against losing guys we winning five to one amazing this is the this is the bed net zero okay the system of the three keys i don't want to i don't want to say a lot about about this because you know um we don't know who's listening to our <laughs> to our conversations to our videos but what i'm trying to say is i'm going to give you something that you can use mostly on online gaming all right something that we have discovered recently and uh you know you need to be wise with that okay why because basically you have three keys and you just have to figure it out all three keys work i mean the proof is in the cake look we were playing flippy flippy mechanics on a predominant shoe and we murder it all right so those three keys are going to open the door in front of you which is a shoe no matter what all right just got to be careful to choose the the proper key to a particular period not a shoe to a period of gaming that you're going to do online all right i don't want to say no more because then we might call the wrong attention and uh, that's not what we are about all right guys so remember guys thank you so much to all the people who joined the the, the special okay um if you want to uh learn more of you if you want to get more information about the three keys of bednet zero please get in touch with me and i will help you get started as soon as possible all right so thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye